everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be talking to you what i've purchased this year and what my brother and boyfriend got me this year um it's not really a lot of things which i'm glad i didn't go over crazy about makeup this year which is good i need to slow it down each year a little slower and get you know get used on my collection what i do have and so yeah my palettes are like spread out by brands and ones of like single brand together so i just got a little bit i am not mad at myself because some of these i did not purchase like these i did not purchase myself but other than that let's get into it okay um we'll talk about the blend bunny i tried it for the first time this year first i got the primal um palette and i liked it it was pretty good i just need to get more use out of it to get to know it better and use more colors that I have not used yet. But I like um, how they like did the color um, sections. That's really nice. And then have the shimmers on the bottom and then the black and the white like that. It's, it's really nice. I kind of wish I had a mirror. It just feels cheap to me. But other than that, the shadows are where it's at. And it is very pigmented. So I'm glad I picked these up. My favorite one out of the two, of course, is the Surge palette. I've been wanting this since it released. And I just didn't bite the bullet until now and this was like calling my name so i had to get this palette again i like how she did the palette and i like how she they did like the dark grungy tones and then this grungy row i just like that the pastels in these are okay not my favorite because i don't gravitate to pastels that much but the neons in here are the star of the palette i really like that i love neons i wish i had more neons but i think glam light in my collection has a good variety of bright and bold colors that you know can be neon is type thing next i'm going with nomad this is another brand that I've tried this year, and this is my newest palette. I don't know the name. <laughs> it is a long name, but this is really pretty. Pretty sure everybody has seen this palette. I think it came out last year, and I love the color story. I wanted this for so long this year. And when they had that Cyber Monday, this is the palette I chose for that sale. Really love the color story. Love the bright and again, neons. Has my heart. <laughs> and the Nomad Royal Europe. Love the packaging. Again, that's so pretty. And this was my first nomad palette this year that i got um because i wanted their multi-chromes so i was so excited and their mattes are so good in here this palette is very deep but i like to pa to pair other palettes with this and i like my eye looks when i create something with this palette it's so pretty Love the jewel tones. Next, I'm gonna go in with Adept. I discovered Adept last year, so it wasn't a new brand that I've tried this year, but 
This is the Element 115, the newest one they came out with. They're already sneak peeking a new palette for next year. I'm like, really? <laughs> but this is a gorgeous palette. Like, look at this. So beautiful. And I love the color story. I'm wearing this palette with another palette I'm going to be talking about. But this is so beautiful. I just, I always have to use this one. Great, I think, for the winter time with the blues. I love it. Next, before this one, they had the Sumerian Sunset, which is really beautiful packaging. And when you open it up, it's like a fall dream. Like this is my birthday, November birthday. This is my palette. So I had to get this when it came out. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to get this as soon as I get money. And I sure did because I did not want to miss out on this palette and you know, wait for the restock. I was like, no, I want to get this now. A little treat for my birthday. For myself, I just had to have this. So um, this was like heavily on my mind and I couldn't wait to, there was a lot of sneak peeks and I, I wanted to get that one. And then I was so happy to get the Green Arrow, Arrow inspired palette. I don't know what the actual name is, but that the, the Green Arrow is the TV show. And I think it's just like really good, beautiful palette. So beautiful. This was pricey, but Adept is a little pricey. And, but I love it. So beautiful. Had to have it. <laughs> Adept did good this year. Um, so the rest are like one each brand type thing. What else could we do here in Wet and Wild? And this, I can't wear this. I tried it, the just like the all glitter palette. This was like a no for me even though I wish I could wear it, but the formula in here, I just couldn't. Sadly, this I can't wear, but this Scooby-Doo Wet, Wet, Wet and Wild, um, Scooby-Doo Where Are You palette. Um, I love the color story in here. Um, I can't wait to use this again. I should use this sometime soon. Um, when I did a look, I really enjoyed it. It just sucked that this ruined my look because it made my eyes puffy and itchy and I was like, oh, nope, I have to take off my makeup, sadly. I really loved it. I loved this green in here that was pretty. The purple, I still yet to use this whole palette. Maybe create something right over here, but then we are in winter. So, yeah. But I do love and enjoy this one so far. I need to get more use out of it though. And now we're to the one palette only. This one I got the Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Terrestrial Nirvana. I can't even say that name, but it's a Nirvana palette. This I got at Marshalls for $35, but my boyfriend bought it for me. I made him. <laughs> I was like, you're getting this for me. And this is just so beautiful, colorful. I really do enjoy this. I actually worn this a lot this year. So that's saying something. And I got this for my birthday. This is the Juvia's Place Ephrolactic. Galactic, Afro Galactic. There you go. Have to say it right. <laughs> um, isn't this a gorgeous palette? I love like the space theme. 
and palettes. I think it's just so beautiful. And this has some like dual chromes in here and I'm just loving this. Super smooth. I love the formula on each shadow. It performs really well. I still yet have to use these tones. I recently used this purple and it was beautiful. I love the black shimmer in here. Um, the shimmers are like mostly like, especially the special shades, like they're so smooth. Like these shades are so smooth. This is a really good palette. I, it's beautiful. I really do enjoy that palette a lot. Next, I'm going to talk about which I bought and, you know, didn't review it or anything. I think I used it once in a video. I'm not sure, but this is the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer 2. I wanted this since it came out and it was like super on sale. It was, it's originally $45. It's $45. It was on sale for $14. They had some kind of sale going on. And I was like, you know what? I'm not passing this palette off. I want it. And I love this pop of neon. This color story is so beautiful. And I've wanted it. And I finally got it. And I was like, really like, okay, I have it. <laughs> Um, I still yet have to play more, but I do like the color story in this. And I've used this a little bit this year, but it looked like I have not used any shadows. <laughs> like recently, I just worn the shadow in the look and I was like, it's pretty good. I need to play more. Next to, I have this one on my eyes. I just did a video last and using my two newest palettes of this year and my last palettes purchase of the year. Um, Clarity Cosmetics Apocalypse. Wow. This is a gorgeous palette. Like, look at that. Love it so much. I love the formula in here. I really like it. I love the look. I had to take pictures. I was like, you know what? I need to start taking my, <laughs> my pictures. I just, I love it. This palette uh, to me is just gorgeous. I still yet again have to use the red, <laughs> but it's so beautiful. Um, oh, I can't get over that I got this. I'm so excited. I think <laughs> my most exciting palette, right? And then my last one I need to get more used because I only used it once is the Bella Beauty Bar, the Sea, and the, the Sun in the Sea Mermaid palette. But this is what it looks like. I have to be careful because one shade is broken. It's very neutral, probably like the most neutral palette in my collection that I'm showing you now. But it is powdery, but it performed really good. I can't wait to use more. This shade reminds me of Adept in House of L. It's beautiful. I, I can't wait to dig more into these shades, especially the shimmer shades, get more use out of this palette. Because I think I'll use it quite often because the, the shimmers are they're really pretty. Like you can make some neutral looks and I need to like get some more neutral looks. I'm thinking about these browns with the shimmer. Popping this in the inner corner. <laughs> and I think that'll be pretty. So yeah, I need to play more with this and I'm excited that I got get to try one, two, probably four new brands. 
Let's see. Wet and Wild. No, because I had the peanut palette. So that wasn't like. Nomad and Blood Bunny. So, four new brands I've tried this year. And now let's go on to the other purchases throughout the year. For my birthday, I had my boyfriend buy me the Rare Beauty. This is in Happy. This blush. And it is very pigmented. So I have to put like a little tiny dot on with, you know, my white skin. And this is pretty deep. <laughs> and but it's beautiful so i have to put like a little bit i was hoping they had hope <laughs> um blush because i really want to try that one she said it was like the most popular color and they go through that one once i get it it's all out i'm like darn um i'm gonna try this flower beauty warrior mascara i got it in fierce black because I just like black eyeliner and I am going to try this out next year or when, whenever mine's not performing that good. I got this. So that's my only backup of mascaras. I had a little mascara that went with this. I don't know. I was searching for it and I'm like, where the heck did it go? So there's a little mascara that's missing, but this is Ilia brand and I got this multi stick in at last this is pretty deep too but I, I just put like a little bit on and it blends very good with a brush so I got that for my like freebie gift for my birthday um I got this Jaclyn Hill um this is like the blush and bronzer a warm flush and golden goddess this was at marshall yeah at marshall's for ten dollars i was like what and i wanted to try it but it's so bulky but anyways it doesn't matter because it still fits for in my drawer so where it lives so i'm pretty happy i got this i'm you know Try more Jaclyn Hill stuff slowly. Um, next, I don't remember if I got it this year or last year. This um, Dollar Tree brand, and I thought it was like remind me of <laughs> my butter bronzer. I cannot ever say the name. This is almost done. This, but this. Reminds me of this. Okay. You see how almost done this is. Like, I've worked so hard on this this year. And that's bulky. Um, so I wanted to try this one and I thought it was so cute. They had other ones, but this one mainly called my eye, called my eye, caught my eye, called my name, and said buy me. So um a dollar twenty-five. I was like, okay, you're sold. Um, I got this Wet n Wild highlighter. Thought it, it was per pretty and it's um like pearl purple shade. I like it. I had my brother buy me this. <laughs> I'm like, can you buy me this for two dollars at the 99 cent store? <laughs> I am that, you know. Can you buy me this? That cheap. Yeah. Then I got, lastly, this is the last of my makeup. I got um, this for like $22. This is the Benefit Collection, like a holiday collection or something. I got it for $22. I thought it was a good deal. I got Georgia. This, I feel like this is like a shimmery bronzer, but it's actually like a blush. That looks like a bronzer to me in person. So I got that one. Then I got dandelion, which is cute. These are all so cute. 
This is a light pinky blush with shimmer. Very pretty. I think they're all blushes. And then I have Dallas. Okay, this is like a bronzer. I love bronzer and blushes. I try to get as much. Hula. And this is another good bronzer. Really pretty. And then we have Sunny Golden Pink Blush. I don't know what that says, but this one. I think this is like the original one or something like that. Oh, this is gorgeous. Shimmer, like gold and pink blush. That's really pretty. So that was a set of five for $22. I thought, you know, that's pretty good for a benefit. And that's all my makeup that I got this year. Not too bad. Literally, when you look at it and then the rest of your collection, I'm pretty pleased. So how many palettes did I get this year? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not gonna count this. 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, okay. Extra than a year. Cause I wanted like one palette a year, one palette a month. But this ain't bad at all. 13. That's pretty good. So yeah, this is all that I got this year. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment to my channel. Bye for now.